guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new here my name is Asia Mullins for those of you that are returning subscribers hey friend thank you so so much for returning and for showing love to my channel it means a lot to me and for those of you that just view my that are constantly coming back and view my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you can join the family so today's video is going to be a little bit different it's just going to be the comparisons of Michael Locks and Sister Locks now I know you're probably like why TikTok is the reason why. I've been on TikTok and I've been looking at like people with locks. Like I love the looks of traditional locks. I love the look of like loose hair. But I saw the Michael locks and I was like, they look similar but they're not the same. So I was like, let me do some research and it never hurts to learn new stuff. So I was like, let me just learn about Michael locks. And let me tell you, there's really not a lot of a difference between there's not a there's not much difference between Michael Locks and Sister Locks. It's just the science that that goes behind Sister Locks because they have a whole system <laughs> behind Sister Locks. Um, the way to start them and the products really. So it's just like really three things. So the first thing first is how to start them. To start Sister Locks, you can only start off with squares like. Your parts have to be in squares. Now, Michael Locks, you can start them off in any kind of shape. Like, you can start them off with diamonds, squares. You can start them off with rectangles, however you want to start them. And for the Sister Locks, they have three sizes to... They have three sizes of, like, what determines how the size of the Sister Lock. Michael Locks is really just the smaller version of traditional locks like some people they start their micro locks with two strand twists some start them off with braids sister locks they have a technique behind it like I remember when I was getting them done my consultant she she did like five different techniques on my hair to see which one would last longer I believe I kept them in for like two weeks and then I went back to her and then she saw which one held up the best and let me just say this before you ever get sister locks make sure you go to somebody that you like that sister lock website they have a list of ver certified consultants go on their website read the reviews i was lucky enough i didn't have to do this because my mom's friend she has she's been going to this lady forever her sister locks are down to her waist honey and they like some i think down to her butt actually and they are beautiful but Make sure that you go on sisterlots.com and read those reviews because people will scam you. Like, they have a certain tool that's only for Sister Locks, and I can't show that because Sister Locks is a trademark company, honey. And if I show that, I could get in trouble. Um, the consultant needs to know, like, the hair texture that you have. What technique works best with your hair texture? What works best for your head shape? There's a lot behind that. And I can't go into detail because I can get in trouble. But gridding, that's another one. The grid is the grids are pretty much the same. For Sister Lots, like I said before, they start with a square. Michael Lots, they start like however they want to start it out as. And then the last thing really is the products of the Sister Lots. Like, like I said before, the sister locks, there's a science behind it. So in order for you to properly take care of your hair, the sister lock company came out with products. Like they have the starter shampoo, they have the danger shampoo and the moisturizer. Now the starter shampoo, when you first get your locks done, you have to braid them and then put a rubber band at the end so that the locks don't, so you don't have slippage. It's called slippage. So you don't have that. Michael Locks, when I saw people do it, I didn't see them doing that. So I was like, okay, that's another thing that we do differently than Michael Locks. And it really, like, compliments, like, it sounds so weird, but it really compliments the person's head. Like, everybody's head shape is different. So the way that the locks fall is different. Like, I can look at my mom's hair, and her hair falls different. Her hair is able to do different things, and plus we have different hair textures. And also my little sister, like we're a house full of sister locks. <laughs> Our hair looks different from one another. And that's another thing that I've also noticed. Like the Michael Locks, some people they look the same and then some they 
don't. Also, another thing that I saw is that for the micro locks, there is normally a tool that I cannot show because it's trademarked by the sister lock company that they have. It's a specific tool that people use. And I didn't see that with the micro locks. I remember I was watching one girl, she was using it, and it was like a hook. And it it's flat, it's flat, and then it's like a hook. It looks it looks easier to use, to be honest, in my opinion. Because I like the tool that is used for the sister locks to retie, it looks complicated and I can't use it, so I I can't use it because it's easier when someone else is doing your hair, like when your consultant is doing your hair. So yeah. Alright guys, so that concludes the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you learned something from the difference between micro locks and sister locks. Like it's really a lot, but once, like I said before, because sister locks is a company and it's trademark, they don't want to disclose all of their business. Like, they don't want people to know everything and do it out here. They got to make money somehow. So, yeah. So, I actually enjoyed doing this research. And thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.